So talk about a hot button topic right now. At the time of us recording this right now, the coronavirus is wreaking havoc, particularly, I mean, across the whole world. But, but here at home in the United States, we have very serious conversations going right now. I mean, but you know, up until now, Professional businesses hired janitorial and sanitation companies. They just always have because you want your business to look nice. But the way this is looking right now, this is about to be no longer optional for businesses that have customers coming in. This, in a lot of states, is going to become the law. And specifically, they're going to have procedures on how things are cleaned and how things are disinfected and what kind of chemicals are used. And, you know, as a business owner, I had, I I didn't even have time to clean. I've had a cleaning service come into my office for a long time. For years we've outsourced cleaning because we just don't have time to do it. But now even the business owners that were trying to save a buck to, to keep this, keep their crew vacuuming and keep their crew wiping surfaces down. And, and in the downtime, you're not going to be able to do that anymore because the coronavirus has permanently changed how we do things and how things are disinfected. I mean, now it is, it is people's lives depending on whether or not the cleaning is done right. That's huge, huge stakes. And so For the person that has a janitorial sanitation background, the opportunity to learn the new systems that they're going to be rolling out, which I mean, anybody can. It's about the time that you have to do it. So you gain that expertise. You gain that knowledge in the ways that the law says we have to clean things now in order to be open to the public or else you're not supposed to be open to the public and you know they're going to be doing inspections. You know, yeah. the opportunity for janitorial and sanitation business owners is larger now, in my opinion, than it ever has been in the history of the human race. Oh, I, I 100% agree. I mean, this is something that every business open to the public is going to have to have. And it's one of those things that offices, businesses, they don't want to spare the staff that they need to run fundamental operations in in doing this. Plus, there's additional liabilities and concerns that come along with having your employees do this. So I think being able to hire a service on a subscription basis, knowing that you can create predictable timeframes for this to be done, it's not just going to be a luxury. Like you said, it's going to be a necessity. And I think from the operating perspective of this, the great thing is they are going to establish routine procedures. So this is going to be something that you can really formulaically operate, have consistency, be able to hire, use these tools to train and staff and grow this. And I really think, you know, in terms of potential profitability, this this really could go as, as far as you want to take it. Yeah, well, and you know, I, I have owned a janitorial company before. My wife and I did. And at the time that we owned our janitorial company, we were competing with every other person who called themselves a janitorial company that existed in our area. And you competed mainly on, I mean, you know, you had to do a good job to, to keep the customer right. But to get the customer in the first place, you had to be really competitively priced. So not only, because it's hard work, it is hard work to do the janitorial and, and sanitation tasks. So not only am I doing something that's really hard work, I'm doing something to where I've tried to squeeze every single penny out of my proposal to make it to where I'm going to gain this person's business in the first place. And that is tough. It is tough to make a living that way. It's tough to feel good about all the hard work you're putting out that way. And it is especially tough if you have employees that you're trying to pay and make an override off of and pay them something that is a respectable wage, especially considering how hard a work this is. It's really hard. So in my opinion, the coronavirus, as terrible as it is, has created an opportunity in the janitorial and sanitation and cleaning space that has never existed before. 
It is now about qualifications. It is now about I can meet the expectations that are held of you as a business. I can do that for you and I will be better than any other service. It's now about quality and it's about qualifications. I don't know that this has ever happened before in the cleaning. Uh, I mean, you know, it, just in, in any cleaning industry. Yeah, no, I think it's definitely unprecedented. And I think that having a website and having a billing system and all of these tools that normally eat up so much time for these operators, I think that will allow them to service more accounts have greater levels of profitability. And I think that being able for customers to interface electronically because of the coronavirus is going to be all, all the more important as well. Yeah, well, and, and that's, that's you know, you, you've, you've hit something that I've missed thus far in what I've talked about, probably because I remember the days of vacuuming and sweeping and mopping and dusting and scrubbing and, you know, all this stuff. So, so my passion lies there. But you hit something that I haven't even talked about. And, and that is the efficiency of going on and, and having your customers subscribe. So, you know, especially these big corporate conglomerates, you know, all of them have credit cards. So why on earth are you waiting 90 days to get a check? Why don't you have them now, uh, these businesses now, go on your website Click on your cleaning package. You can even create a customized link. If you're, if you're wanting to go in and say, okay, you know, your estimate to clean your building and disinfect and sanitize per the state law is $1,289.41 per month. You can go on to the dashboard or to the, the programs that we put into place for you. You can click add. You can go put, you know, $1,249.81 or whatever I said. And you can create that link and then send them that link. They put in their credit card. It's going to build their card indefinitely until they cancel your service. Your waiting on checks in the mail is done. Your being, you know, not paid for the last 90 days of your work, that those days are over. They don't need to happen anymore. So, you know, yeah, it's, it's streamlined billing. It's made it to where there's an unprecedented demand for the service based on qualifications and not just the cheapest person on the face of the planet. And you've made it to where, I mean, the demand for your services, now you're the same demand as any other licensed contractor because these people can no longer do this stuff themselves in most cases. Oh, definitely. And I think you're going to find that with these tools, you're going to outpace your competitors, no problem at all. I think that uh, in many instances, a lot of these cleaning services that are more analog require more involvement from the facility manager or whoever that's you know commissioning the service. And so having something that's automated, because I, I was a general manager of a medical center uh, for years, and I had a cleaning service that had to meet certain compliance threshold. But the one thing I remember most about them is to get them paid, I had to have an invoice brought to them or, you know, submitted to me that I sent to our corporate expense account to wa to send them a check in the mail. And no if we could have put this on a card, days. yeah. Yeah. And if we could have put this on a card, they would have gotten paid more often. It would have been less work for me and uh, ultimately a better outcome for everyone. Yeah. And, and that, that was probably honestly, you know, the, the work was grueling. It was difficult to, to go in and, you know, work these night shifts and lose sleep, you know, put in all this time doing all this manual labor. That was hard work. But what was mentally and physically exhausting to me was going to our PO box and looking in there and going, we didn't get paid again. And then calling 1-800-NOBODY-CARES and talking to, you know, Barb in accounting or whoever that is a different person than who I talked to last time going, hey, you know, this is a bowling with, you know, the, my janitorial company and we haven't been paid. Oh, yeah, let me let me look into that. We'll get you that check. And then eventually you get like three months payment. Right. But I mean, that makes it impossible to be able to scale the company. It makes it impossible to be able to pay employees. When that is the business model, you get paid when your customer feels like it. No wonder we have such a hard time keeping these janitorial companies in existence. It's a nightmare. Absolutely, yeah, I think this creates the consistency that any business owner wants, the organizational tools to keep that consistency, and ultimately, I think the, the ability to grow this, scale it, and uh, be more profitable than really anyone else in this, in this industry can be. 
Now, you've worked under our business methodology. Tell me how our way of doing things has impacted your life. Well, it's improved my life in many different ways. Um, I've learned to, you know, operate in business more efficiently, more strategically, with a greater focus on win-win outcomes, you know, where the business is profiting, but the, you know, clients and customers are happy. Um, so it's been a very enriching process, and I've, I've learned a lot from you guys. You guys have that entrepreneurial spirit that just makes for good business. And so it's been just an absolute pleasure working with you guys. And now what about financially? How would you say your situation is different? Well, it's been enormously personally rewarding, you know, financially rewarding. We've uh, been able to do things we never imagined being able to do just a few years before. You know, you, your unique approach to business has enabled us to, you know, be more profitable than our competitors. Um, we've had a better work-life balance, I think, than most people who, you know, even get close to approaching our income threshold. Um, so I think really, I mean, as rewarding as something could be, you know, it has been for us. Now, do you feel like our way of doing things has profitability advantages over traditional ways of doing business? Oh, most certainly. Yeah. I think you can, you know, tell just by our history of growth. I mean, we, I think are willing to adapt our business strategies, fill any niche role that's out there and just, you know, capitalize on, on things that other businesses aren't even aware of. So yeah, I think we, you know, have had a much greater level of success than our competitors with more profitability and oftentimes less busy work. Yeah, certainly. And, and I think too, you know, with the, with the startup series, startup series goes over all sorts of that kind of stuff. And, and um, you know, just, just the ways that, that we've been forced to, luckily forced to adapt um, and learn how to do things with, with less staff and, you know, more technology based or more efficiency based is really picking things apart down to the typing of emails or not stuff like that makes a huge difference i think absolutely yeah breaking things down to their kind of constituent components seeing what you absolutely have to have what's not necessary and then putting your energy behind what drives you know maximum productivity and profitability and i think that's where we've had a lot of our success now justin what would you say to someone who is thinking about buying one of these business packages but is maybe nervous about starting a business from scratch instead of going with a more expensive traditional franchise or, you know, maybe nervous about something else with starting a business? Well, I would say that, you know, now is a very good time, I think, for someone to look at starting their own business. And I think, you know, when you're weighing these options, say in comparison to a more expensive franchise, I think the flexibility that's afforded because you still own and have control of your own business, I Absolutely. think that's huge. I'm I think that's why a lot of people start a business. You know, they don't yep. want to have to uh, report to someone and, and curtail their goal and operations based on the direction of somebody else. So I yeah. think you get all of those benefits. But I think the other thing that's, you know, a major advantage is that it is lower cost. You're not paying a percentage of your income for an indefinite period. You just have the ability to take a proven model to adapt it to your specific situation, to be given all the tools to implement your strategy and your goals and to achieve it. And I think that's huge. Yeah. And, and I would agree with that. I mean, as an entrepreneur myself, obviously, that started several businesses, you know, when, when I look back over what worked really well and what did not work really well, it's, it's the unknowns that are waiting out there to just, you know, grab you by the foot and trip you up. And that, that's really what I think makes businesses fail. I think that there's probably two major things that make businesses fail. Number one is not knowing a system and process that's proven for success, which it takes a while to get there. And then number two is, is just these pitfalls that every single entrepreneur will face at some point in time or another. And having the startup series as a guide to continually reference back to, to me, makes all the difference in the world compared to somebody that does not have that resource. And business consultants are really, really, really expensive. It's a good way to, you know, especially when you're in the startup phases, that's a good way to to really drain profitability is having to call somebody and pay them by the hour every time you have a question rather than just referencing a resource that you've got on your computer. Definitely, yeah. I mean, you're, you're getting basically a veteran business model that works yeah. and you're able to use that from the get-go. So, I mean, it's like, you know, taking the Microsoft model when you're starting a software company. It's as good a start as you could have. Well, Justin, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you joining me here um, and going over these business packages. And, um, you know, for you guys there uh, thinking about this, uh, you can submit on our website uh, or you can give us a call at 844-500-6620 and speak with a business launching consultant. Again, that's 844-500-6620. Thanks so much.